Hey guys, I am amazed at the number of random comments I get on my videos from a minority of Americans. Most of the comments I get on my videos from Americans are intelligent and reasonable. But I get a lot of comments from a small minority of Americans who are very proud of the fact that they dropped atom, atom bombs on Japan. And by random comments, I mean I'll make a video about vending machine or something like that and I'll get a comment about yeah Japan Japanese technology is great but we've got the bomb or worse you know um, oh yeah Japanese make good cars but uh, you know we dropped the bombs on them and we showed them quite proud of it and I know that most of those guys are just uneducated trolls but I'm amazed that anybody can be proud of the fact that they killed women and children I mean I went to Hiroshima uh, Peace Memorial and anybody who's been there and seen the hundreds of photographs of the results of those atom bombs um, and who knows that even now in Japan people are dying um, as from the effects of the atom bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki and I'm amazed that anybody who, who knows anything about it could be proud of it I mean I accept without any doubt that Japan was wrong to start a war with anybody and um, most Japanese people will say that too that they were crazy to follow their leaders into a war with America and with other countries and you know there's no doubt about it there's no doubt about it that war was 100% Japan's fault you know I think it would be very hard to even find someone in Japan who says anything differently so I 100 100% accept that um, and I have read um, from educated people um, that at the time that the atom bomb was dropped there was a nuclear arms race developing between Russia and America and I have also read that at that time the Japanese government were debating surrendering um, and I have also read that if America had waited that Japan would have surrendered anyway I've also read that if, if America had waited more allied forces, I mean Americans and Australians and English people and New Zealanders and Canadians and everybody else, that if, if America had waited that, that more allies would have died. I, I accept that. So maybe if the bomb wasn't dropped, maybe the war would have stopped soon anyway. Maybe it wouldn't have. So maybe dropping of, of, a, of a bomb of that nature was necessary, maybe. Dropping it on a big city with hundreds of thousands of women and children in it. I'm sure if somebody let off an atomic bomb in a Western country at this moment with the political climate being what it is, I'm sure there'd be no excuses for killing all the women and children. But okay, let's accept that the atomic bomb on Hiroshima was, was necessary. Okay, I can accept that. Shortly after, while Japanese government were freaking out about the fact that Hiroshima just disappeared, they dropped a second one on Nagasaki. So, okay, maybe we can justify the first one, then they drop a second one. Another city full of women and children. Okay, maybe, maybe it was necessary too. Maybe it was. But what I cannot accept, and what I can never accept, is that people now are proud of that fact. You know, I mean, bad things happen in wars, but who is proud of the fact that their country kills women and children? Even if we justify both bombs, even if we justify them both, okay, both those bombs were 100% necessary to stop the war. Okay, let's, let's accept that. Who says 65 years later, hey, look what we did, isn't it great? You know, what, I know these, most of these guys are just ignorant young trolls, but... I cannot believe anybody can say that. And I'm not talking about one or two people. I've had hundreds of comments like that over the last year. You know, I cannot believe that people do that. You know, I mean, Japan now, 65 years, Japan, Japanese people have not fired one bullet in anybody else's country. You know, how many of these trolls can say that, that their country hasn't fired one bullet in anybody else's country? I mean, we've got people... We've got countries at the moment in all sorts of other people's countries killing people and getting hated by people and we've got people wanting to kill, you know, let's be honest, there's a lot of people wanting to kill Americans at the moment, you know, what is that? You know, why is that? You know, 
I won't get into that because I don't make videos about America, but just look at that for a moment. You know, Japan hasn't fired a bullet in another person's country for 65 years. Japanese people are so strongly pro-peace. You know, when their government goes to Iraq to take water and food and to build, build infrastructure to help Iraqi people, Japanese people protest because they feel really strongly that they don't want their soldiers in other countries, even though they're not firing bullets. You know, these people, 65 years ago, you know, most of the people that were around the time of World War II and the people that were responsible for it are dead. And these people that live here in Japan now are, are really seriously peace-loving people. So to say to these guys, um, you know, we, we're proud of the fact that we dropped bombs on you, I cannot believe that people do that. Now, I know that 99% of people who are watching this aren't the sort of people that say that, but just that 1%, you know, what the hell are you thinking that you can be so proud of that? You know, it's unbelievable.